when the river rises above 46 feet, their, their ramps basically start to go underwater and at that point they're closed. It has a huge financial impact. Any business that sustains a uh, um, closure due to high waters, is, is, it just it kills their bottom line. When you get the rising waters like this, it just, it just devastates the business. And then this, this being the wettest uh, uh, year, or get, uh, approaching the wettest year ever in rec record history, is just really impacted the business negatively, so it, it hurts. The school opened five and a half years ago, and in that time, this is the second time we've had to evacuate the school due to high water. The river crested yesterday at 55.3 feet, and uh, flood stage is 52 feet, so we're three and a half feet above flood stage. Um, so we evacuated the kids. We boxed all the teachers' goods up last Friday and uh, relocate them to the alternate school up in Avondale. Everyone asks when they can get back into their, their real school. We'll be working on Saturday and Sunday to get the kids ready to come back. If, it, if they're able to, we'd like to get them back for school on Monday. Pay attention to the signage. I mean, they see road closed and they'll drive to the water's edge and say, can they get through? And I've seen something the other day, it just, uh, it hit me. Uh, there was a van, I'm getting teared up, there was a van with children, huh. but it's, uh, I mean nothing happened to the kids, but it's just plain out ignorant to drive through something like this with kids, and it's six foot deep, you know, and if they get out there, what are they going to do? I just can't see that it's worth cutting through a, you know, a road to, to get somewhere to where you can go around the block. We just made sure the little kitties got out of the water. She's got six little babies over there. We just moved them out before all this high water came up, you know, made sure that the mama girl had all of her babies there <laughs> in the barrel, made it safely out of the water. So it comes up quick sometimes, because I love those babies. <laughs> and the little mama girl. They're good babies. They're probably, I don't know, a few weeks old maybe. So they were pretty young. She might not know how to carry them out of there, you know. But it gets up this high. Every year it gets up in it, but usually not this high. Well, I just remember the real high ones like in 64. It was up here and then 60 or 97. It got up pretty close to being up here and it's got in the basement but it's never been in the house since 45. In 64 the first time it come up I was I was only 16, 15 <laughs> but uh, the only thing that bothers me is have to clean it up after it you know when it goes back down and leaves it leaves all the drift and such. We had to move out in 97 because it got in the basement and and they turned the electric off. As long as I don't have to, as long as it gets in the house and I don't have to move out, it don't bother me. <laughs>